Hey there, it's Lance with Hard to Master, and you are catching us with our Solomon Kane unboxing series of videos. In part one, we covered what comes in the main box of the game, and if you haven't checked that out, I would encourage you to click the I in the top right corner. It'll take you to that video. So we're going to go ahead and move this out of the way. This is a heavy, heavy box. Uh, and in this video, we are going to be checking out what is in the Arsenal box which uh, I assume is going to have a lot of our miniatures in it. So, uh, I'm sorry for the glare. We've still got the plastic on it. We're gonna go ahead and take that off and I'll let you guys take a look at it. All right, so here we go. Let's go ahead and get this opened up. And while I'm opening this, if you aren't familiar with this channel, this is Hard to Master, where we cover heavier, thinkier, meatier games and try to help you learn how you can master it. I need to learn how to master unboxing this plastic. Man, it's not easy to get off. Uh, Hard to Master is a part of Love to Hate, which Love to Hate is our channel where we help gamers find games that work well when playing with non-gamers. So be sure to check that out. So you can see the artwork here on the front cover. We've got some pistols on the front with a sword. In between them, let's go ahead and take a look at what's on the back here. It says, Solomon Kane Arsenal Box, a game by Jake Thornton. And Solomon Kane, players take on the roles of the four cardinal virtues, courage, justice, prudence, and temperance. These immortal beings strive to le lead mortals down the path of goodness. Each is a stalwart and implacable foe of the evil that lurks in the darkness. The players, as virtues, must act together to aid the mortal hero Solomon Cain in his fight against the darkness. This is the fearless opponent who tries to thwart our hero at every turn, and who must be overcome by the players if Solomon Cain is to emerge victorious. But why would the virtues care about Solomon Cain? Surely there are many mortals they could aid. The answer is simple. None share his boundless faith and determination to fight the darkness wherever the odds are whatever the odds or the cost. And if that sounds familiar, that's the same uh, flavor text that's on the back of the main box. But if you didn't catch that, that's good for you to hear the first time. So let's go ahead and open this up, see what we can find. And right there, you can see one of the dual player boards here. I don't know if you can catch that, that that is a dual player board. And that is very thick, nice, nicely made uh, player board there. And then we've got some punch boards. And so let's take a look at the quality of tokens here that we're going to be playing this game with. That is very uh, nice and thick, comes out easily. Uh, looks like we've got some more here. Again, this is not thin punch board here. Uh, looks like we've got a back to this. Let you take a look at the artwork on the back here. So there you go. And we've got some more tiles. So we had some tiles in the main box. Uh, I think we had about 15 double sided tiles. We've got mm, probably close to that again, maybe 12 here and uh, so that is just going to increase the replayability the different scenarios that you're going to be able to play through uh, throughout all the campaigns that come in this game which if you saw the first video are a lot in that that first box let alone all the expansions that are going to be coming. This is just wave one. There's going to be wave two content material that will come later in the year. And uh, you're going to have probably double the uh, content to be able to play through if you uh, get everything there is to get for Solomon Kane. And that is what we did here on Love to Hate. We went all in on this. So there you go, you can see what the tiles that you'll be playing on look like. Very nice. Okay, let's see what else there is in this. 
So we've got some more player boards. So these are the different virtues that you will be playing as throughout the course of the game. If you don't know what Solomon Kane is, uh, this is a game in which you play as virtues that are controlling Solomon Kane's actions. You don't actually control Solomon Kane. You control the different virtues, such as prudence, courage. Now, providence is the solo character, if I'm not mistaken. If you play solo, then you will play as providence, which is kind of all the different virtues mixed together. Uh, we've got justice. Now, the darkness is the bad character, obviously. And temperance is a last character here. So, you can play as the... Um, darkness in this game. So this is can be cooperative, can be competitive. And we've got Solomon Cain bookmark here. So this is probably for saving in the middle of a campaign uh, and what you would write down to be able to do that. You've got plenty of sheets here. Uh, so lots to work with. And we've got some packaging material. Let's get that out of here. And let's see, these boxes are marked two of five. I don't see one of five, though. Ah, one of five is down here. So let's do this in order, shall we? Now, these do feel like they are going to be our miniatures. So let's take a look at them. So you can see we've got five different boxes of miniatures here. And so we've got some of them that are out of their places, so let's get them back to where they belong. And these are highly detailed miniatures that are just gorgeous. All right, so I'm not going to show you every single one of these, just a few of them that catch my eye. And if you want to pause the video, you can zoom in on these and take a closer look at them. Really cool looking miniatures here in this game, guys. If I were a painter, I would love to paint these, but I am not talented like that. Jeremy, my co-host on Hard to Master, he is a very talented painter. Maybe I can uh, talk him into painting some of these. We'll see. Uh, but, man. Okay, so in this box, I count... 32 miniatures. So we got 32 miniatures in this first box. Let's look at this guy right here. I kind of missed this one. He is very tall. Of course, he is kind of standing on a box and a barrel there. So. Very cool. Even the uh, stands that they are on have artwork on or uh, are customized there. So very cool. Very cool. They did not spare the effort into putting details on these miniatures. So that's just our first box. Let's take a look at box two here. All right, so we have some very interesting stuff going on here. Uh, looks to be like we've got six wolves that I am sure you are going to be battling it out with. Again, highly detailed. We've got some pikemen here that you probably don't want to mess with or get too close to. And, ha! Huh, uh, those of you that are familiar with Mythic Games will know who that is. That's uh, Leo that you'll see on a lot of their videos. He's the town crier here, uh, but that's his special miniature. Pretty cool that they've got him in here. 
Uh, let's see, we've got, these look to be some bad dudes, maybe some of the darkness that you'll be fighting against. There you go. And let me show you one more. How about, how about this guy? He's carrying around a bunch of beer. So, maybe a guy that you help along the way. Very cool. Oh wait, I think this might be... Oh yeah, I think this is uh, one of maybe Solomon Kane's uh, biggest rivals throughout the course of the, this major storyline. I'm not sure. Just going off of what I've seen in the campaign on Kickstarter. So there you go. Alright, that's what you got in box two. So... Let's move on to box three. Box three is not as large as the first two boxes, but I'm assuming we've got some bigger minis in this, and I believe these to be the Black Riders. These might be some of the most formidable foes that Solomon Kane is going to face throughout the course of the first half of the campaign. Look at that, that is crazy detailed. So cool. I love that, that uh, cape just flying in the back here. Awesome. All right, and these are, these are all different. These are not the same, or at least, that first one's different from the, the rest of them. So let me show you what this one looks like. So this guy's got a sword and a uh, lantern. He's not dual wielding like the other one was. So there you go. Pretty, pretty cool. Very nice. So I'm not keeping track of the number of minis here, but I think we're above 50. Uh, well, we're well above 50. I think we're above uh, 70 maybe now. I'm not sure. All right. Let's see what we've got in box four. Aha, so here are some of our characters that we will be playing as throughout the campaign. I was wondering where we were going to find these. So these miniatures are extremely tall compared to the other ones that we've, we've been seeing. And so I don't remember which virtue is which here, but I can tell you that these four, first four that you're going to see, I think are the good guys. And the last one is going to be darkness or... Uh, maybe this is darkness, actually. I'm not 100% not sure, guys. I apologize. But you can see just how crazy cool these ones are. You could spend a lot of time just looking at these minis before you even play the actual game. I believe this is justice. That would make sense. Look at her base there. That's got a lot going on there. And the scales of justice. And not sure which one this is. Maybe temperance. Very nice. And then, obviously, this is one of our shadows. And the shadows come out to wreak havoc and represent the, the invading darkness and needing to repel the darkness and fight it off. Look at that. You can see through him. That's so cool. This is not just a solid 
plastic figure here. It's uh, very well detailed. Very cool. All right, so that's what you find in box four. Let's take a look at our fifth and final box. And I assume that maybe this is where Solomon Kane is hiding because we've yet to find him. He's got to be in here, right? They didn't forget to put him in until wave two, did they? Huh? Let's see. We've got some more bad guys in here. I can see that. All right, so we've got some beasts. These are some bears, or this is a bear, looks like. All right. And a giant wolf. And he's standing on top, of, I don't know if you can see that, but he is standing on top of a, of a sheep or a lamb or a goat maybe. Um, so there you go. And I don't know if you can pick up on this, but on these plastic stands here, it actually has an arrow, and I assume that arrow is telling you which direction you need to place the miniature so that it all fits back in here nice and precise. This is the ogre. So this is one of the campaigns you can work through. The ogre. And we're gonna put him back facing that way. Now, I know this is darkness. This is the bad guy with her minions at her feet. And then this is Prudence, I think, the one that you can play if you're going to do the solo of this that uh, is kind of embodies all the virtues. So really cool. And then we've got some that are hiding underneath this. So let me set this to the side here. And suppose I missed Solomon Kane. He might have been tucked away in some of those other main boxes because this is some more of uh, the bad guys, the darknesses. So uh, I'll have to go back and see where Solomon Kane is hiding. He's probably in one of those first two boxes that I showed you guys. So that's that. That's what we have in our arsenal box. Let me get that cover back out here and show that to you guys. Um, this pairs up with the main box and stores all of your miniatures in it. So there you go. Uh, stick around for part three. In part three, I am going to show you guys what comes in the Right Hand of Doom adventure, which is a separate expansion to Solomon Kane. Uh, and I'm also going to show you some of the extra stuff that you get if you went all in or got some of the extras. So... Stick around for that. I'm Lance. This is Hard to Master, which is a part of Love to Hate, where we try to bridge the gap between gamers and non-gamers. Catch us next time.